In this example, we have a block of mass 8 kilograms is at rest on a rough plane inclined at 45 degrees to the horizontal. The maximum frictional force acting in the block is 15 newtons. Find the minimum force required to A. Move the block up the plane. So the diagram for part A is going to be so draw a horizontal line as best as you can, then draw a diagonal line, and then that's your 45 degrees. Mark on your block, a vertical line going down, and that is the weight of the block, so 80 newtons. Do a wee dash line, and also your normal reaction, so both of these things should be perpendicular to your plane. That is 45 degrees in here, and then read the question again. Uh, Find the minimum force required to move the block up the plane. I'm going to call that capital X. And what we have going down the plane is a friction, a frictional force of 15 newtons. Okay, notice what I've got over here. It says friction acts down the plane to prevent the body moving up the slope. So that's why I put the friction going, uh, the friction going down the plane, because it's preventing motion. So if you're about to move, the minimum force required to move the block up the plane, that means you're about to move, but you're mo just on the point of moving up the plane. So your friction has to be acting down the plane. So all we're going to do in this question is we're going to resolve parallel to the plane. And I'm going to say going upwards, so that means considering anything up the plane as positive. And for this, your x needs to be greater than, so the force up the plane is x needs to be greater than any of the forces which are going down in this direction. So going up the plane, you've got x. And then down the plane, you've got 15. It's an easy one to see. You also have got the component of this force here. So when this 8g is pulled around to here, uh, what is it? So it's actually going to be 8g sine 45. So your x must be greater than whatever that's going to be. Uh, 8g sine 45 plus 15. Do that on your calculator. And what I got was 71.57 uh, newtons to two decimal places. Okay, part B. It's now, it's, uh, part B said, uh, find minimum force required to prevent the, ball, the block slipping down the plane. So your diagram's similar, but not quite the same. Your diagram, you've got your box, it was 8G, mark on your 45, mark on your normal reaction, mark on the dash line, and then your 45 again. And to prevent it slipping, uh, first of all, friction acts up the slope. You can see here, friction acts up the slope to prevent the body moving down. So you're going to have your 15 going this way. And as well, your X is going to be acting up the slope to prevent it going down. So just say to prevent the body moving down. Prevent the body moving down. X acts up the slope. Okay, so what you're going to have, we're going to resolve parallel to the plane. And we're going to go up the plane because our x is up the plane to make life easier. x plus 15 must be greater than 8g sine 45. So just say where I've got all of those from. x is going up the plane. So the x is going up the plane. The 15 is going up the plane. And the 8g sine 45 is a component of the uh, weight which is acting down the slope. So x plus 15 to prevent it moving down the plane. x plus 15 has to be greater uh, than, than your... 8g sine 45, which means x itself has to be greater than 8g sine 45 minus 15, which means, run out of space, which means your x needs to be greater than 41.57 newtons, and that was the two decimal places. Okay, that is us done. So there's two. Uh, two parts of the same example on uh, moving a slope, minimum forces required to prevent movement up a slope and the minimum values to prevent uh, movement down a slope.